good about his performance. Watch today. his elbow hit, then him grab for the shoulder. And if you talk to any quarterback guys, it, it, getting hurt or what have you, it's not the initial contact is where they get hurt. It's usually when they land on the ground. So Shane Scove delivered a clean hit. We saw, we saw before maybe he should have gotten called for targeting. That was a clean hit, and it looked like just because when golf came down, his elbow hit the ground, and that pressure, you could see him grabbing for his shoulder. Like the announcer said, most injuries take place not from the initial contact, but from the player contacting the ground. A good way to mitigate these collisions is to learn how to roll with the, with the collisions. Here's an example of a player doing a backward break fall, rolling over his backward shoulder to mitigate the force. Many times from this position, we see a player fall backwards to hit his head on the ground or break his collarbone like we just saw. Here, the player rolls over his right shoulder, and that way the force is directed directly against the back of his skull. Now here's an example from the NFL of a player utilizing a forward roll here. Now it would have been really spectacular if he would have caught the ball and instead of rolling sideways would have done a forward roll and got right back up to his feet and continued running. And here are some examples of that. Here's an example of people using break falls to reduce the impact and prevent injury. The last thing a player should do is ever put his hands or his elbows in front of him in an attempt to break his fall. Those are small bones, and that's where you get collarbone injuries, broken wrists, broken elbows. When you dive, your body is out straight. The important thing is to tuck into a roll as soon as you hit the ground. Okay, as well as the PK roll being able to save your head, it can also save your knees and your ankles. Because recent tests have shown that it can take up to 60% of the impact away. So we're going to demonstrate that by front somersaulting off something really high and using the roll on concrete. This is just to show how practical the roll is. Note that it is not part of the progression levels. With this one, if I drop straight down, all the energy is compressed above itself, which isn't good for the knees. If it's got forward momentum, the roll spreads the impact out across a larger surface area, saving the ankles, knees, and most importantly, the head. Key point here is not to let our elbow hit the ground as we go forward into our roll. You do not want that. We want to go up our arm from one shoulder down the opposite side to our hip. We don't want to roll directly over our spine for this roll. So looking at this again, I thread my arm, push, and let myself fall forward. Many football programs practice these techniques and mat drills and reduce injuries. 